There's simply no other way to put this. A major bombshell 11 days from Election Day, the FBI reopening its case uh, tied to Hillary Clinton's emails based on information now found apparently during a probe of Anthony Weiner's sexting scandal. Weiner is the estranged husband of top Hillary Clinton, Huma Abedin. Now, I want you to take a look at what the FBI director said this summer about the agency's initial probe into Hillary Clinton. In looking back at our investigations into the mishandling or removal of classified information, we cannot find a case that would support bringing criminal charges on these facts. Well, apparently today uh, is, is a different story. Joining me now, a former U.S. attorney, Matt Whitaker. Uh, Matt, uh, again, your initial assessment, and then as in the last few hours have gone on, what do you make of this? Well, I think it's extraordinary, and my understanding is, is that just yesterday is when Director Comey found out uh, these, this additional information. And to announce it uh, within two weeks of the election, I think it must be significant. And he determined that this is something the American people needed to know uh, before the election day. And that, I, I, it's extraordinary. Liberals are saying that uh, this is the result of, of extreme pressure from Donald Trump and Republicans and or that he was just you know, trying to stay above the fray. And if he would have held it back and word got out, that it would have looked worse for him and, and of course, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, well, let's remember, you know, Jim Comey, who I've been on your show uh, defending and I know and I served with in the administration when I was at DOJ, um, is, a, is a good man and a fair man. And, and you know, at, during the summer when he was giving his uh, conclusions, I think everybody agreed that sort of he was he, he did it fairly. And now I, I see how quickly they throw him under the bus uh, when he doesn't support their version of the facts. You know, I know Jim is just trying to get to. Uh, what really happened, and you know, based on his announcement, I think it must be extraordinary what he has been presented with. Matt, this could pre present a, a dilemma, though. We showed uh, the statement in July when he essentially took the statute that oversees this whole case, and and for some people misinterpreted it uh, by saying that extreme carelessness wasn't criminal when in fact uh, it probably was uh, applicable to this. So how does, how does this information get handled from here? Is, is his new set of rules, do they apply to this? Or is this a chance for him to redeem himself perhaps and say, you know what, extreme carelessness did go too far? Yeah, the, the legal standard is gross negligence, and he did say that she was extremely careless. Uh, my understanding of this investigation is it's looking very carefully at Huma Abedin and Cheryl Mills. And, and if you remember when Comey talked to the House Oversight Committee, he talked about the volume and how there just wasn't enough emails. I think what they found is a tremendous cache of uh, classified documents that may uh, cross that line to now there is enough to charge people with crimes. But you don't think that was, a, they, so uh, the, does that mean then a new device may have emerged from uh, Uma Abedin? Uh, my understanding is what they're, it is, they're looking at the, the communications between Huma Abedin and Cheryl Mills right. and that there may be um, a tremendous amount of classified. In fact, I heard 10% of what Cheryl Mills was communicating could have been classified. And that would, that would certainly maybe get over that hurdle uh, that in the summer Jim didn't think uh, had been cleared. Matt Whitaker, thank you very much. Well,